He disappeared in the dead of winter. The brooks were frozen, the airports almost deserted. The snow disfigured the public statues. The mercury sank in the mouth of the dying day. What instruments we have agree, the day of his death was a dark, cold day. Far from his illness, the wolves ran on through the evergreen forests. The peasant river was untempted by the fashionable keys. By mourning tongues, the death of the poet was kept from his poems. But for him, it was the last afternoon as himself, an afternoon of nurses and rumors. The provinces of his body revolted. The squares of his mind were empty. Silence invaded the suburbs. The current of his feeling failed. He became his admirers. Now he is scattered among a hundred cities, and wholly given over to unfamiliar affections, to find his happiness in another kind of wood, and be punished under a foreign code of conscience. The words of a dead man are modified in the guts of the living. But in the importance and noise of tomorrow, when the brokers are roaring like beasts on the floor of the Boers, and the poor have the sufferings to which they are fairly accustomed, and each in the cell of himself is almost convinced of his freedom, a few thousand will think of this day as one thinks of a day when one did something slightly unusual. What instruments we have agree. The day of his death was a dark, cold day.